I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, everyone. Today is Monday, November 2nd, 2015. The time is 5 p.m. in the meeting of the Green Group Board of Works is called to order. Time, please silence any electronic devices you have. Roll call, please. Bridget? Jamie? Here. Bob? Here. Linda? Here. Steve? Here. Gary? Here. Uh, we have the minutes to approve. Does the uh, board have any corrections or amendments or additions? If there is none, I would entertain a motion to approve them as you receive them. Second. Motion made by Linda, second by Jamie. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Pardon? I wouldn't hear that. Oh, excuse that statement. Gotcha. No old business to deal with. New business. Michael Pennington, Creepy County Players, request to use City Hall Gym for TCP production for the week of February 15th to the 20th. Good evening. Um, I'm here to ask for permission to use the gymnasium to um, produce a play for Tree County Players. And we would like to perform the play. Um, the dates for the show we have planned would be on um, February 19th and 20th, which is Friday and Saturday. I'd like to be able to get into the gymnasium and set up the stage. Um, ideally two weeks ahead which would be on the 6th of um, February which is a Saturday if there are other things happening there and that needs to be changed and we can we could get in on the 13th that would that would be okay as well but ideally the 6th would be great um, also um, I wanted to let you know that I have plans to use um, our new um, stage equipment and lighting to set up maybe the stage in the end of the gymnasium the way that they did last year for the play rounding third so that we could make make use of that new equipment and uh, maybe have a little bit different setup i don't believe the stage is a problem and i think you were to check with sarah on the dates of the availability of the gym and the only thing that i would have concern about is like we've had in the past to have the insurance and, and as long as you clean it up make sure it's as clean as what it was when you used it I don't have a problem with it absolutely I'm sure that the insurance won't be a problem and cleaning we got that board do you have any questions or they, they have they did this previously yes, yes. How that work out? Uh, we've never really had any major problems you have questions for Michael Pennington. You spelled it. Yes, it is spelled a little differently. No, Dave Stoltz will have to do with this, right? <laughs> yes, he does. Good afternoon, Dave. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. My only other question would be about um, access and security, getting in and out, because we would be rehearsing like Monday through Thursday in the evening. Um, so we would just need to make sure that we have um, a good way to get in and out. Um, Chief Shawns, can you help us out with that just in case? Yes, you can contact the fire department. We can unlock the doors for you. Electronically, right? Okay. Sure. That would be great. You have the control doors also. If there's no way whether there's no questions or concerns, uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve the uh, county player's request to use the whole gym. Uh, 15th to the 20th, is that correct? Um, originally when I spoke with her, we talked about the 15th to the 20th, but if we could get in there on the 6th so we can have an extra week to actually rehearse on the stage when it's set up, that would be great if nobody has a problem with that. If you have new lighting and things, you might turn it all on and make sure there's no breakers going up. Okay. work that out with Sarah to make sure there's nothing going on. I mean, on, okay. on the stage, it won't be a problem. 
down the gym. It could be. I'm not sure of the schedule. Okay. But, uh, Jimmy made the motion. Second. Bob seconded. Deeper discussion. Every man all those in favor say aye. Aye. Both same side. Motion passion now. Thank you. Thank you so much. You make David behave himself. <laughs> Next item, Wendy Blake, Main Street. Rest of you city all jam corner market. Right now, they Hello. Hi. So the Winter Farmers Market has been going on for several years, and it's the second Saturday a month from 9 a.m. to 12 noon, and we usually get in at 8 to set up, and then we clean everything up by 1 o'clock. So I'm wondering if you guys are okay with us using the gym for the Winter Farmers Market again this year? November through April, 6. When did you say that was? I'm sorry. When? No, I mean, what date? Uh, November, second Saturday. So. Second Saturday. Mm -hmm. Basically, April 1. And once again, I'm aware of any problems or situations because of it. When do you, you guys carry insurance on that, right? We do. We carry insurance, um, general liability, and event insurance for the national. Main Street Insurance Agency, and that rolls over every July, and I gave Sarah an updated certificate of insurance. So, Rich, I'll give you a copy of the insurance policy, or do you need some information? I can have a second, Sarah, maybe has an auto house company. We'll make sure that it happens. Ask Lori about your house. So that's part one. Real quick, though. You said it's the second Saturday of every mm -hmm. month, right? So that'll end up being the cross. You know, yeah, we just, I mean, we just approved the use of the gym <laughs> kind of during the time of February. Right. So, are you using the full gym or this, just the stage area? <clears throat> You're going to be out by one. Yeah, Sarah and I discussed that just in case. Okay. That'll be the 13th. So we don't use the gym area. Okay. Or, I mean, we don't use the stage area at all. We, we, we want to. Those parts after one is not the problem. Okay. And then the second portion is one night, the holiday ball, which is what date? That is December 18th. That's a Friday evening. Um, in the past years, we have done pictures with Santa at the courthouse for the first three Friday evenings um, in December for the community. And since their new security procedures went into place and we have to change things in our location, we decided to change a few things. And this is one thing that we would like to do differently and um, use the gym for uh, a parents' night out. So we would get volunteers and um, girls that have been through the Safe Sitters program to come and help us watch kids from the ages of like 1 to 10 that evening so that parents can go out hopefully um, shop either downtown or within the community and eat dinner either downtown or within the community um, what we want to do is just put on a few Christmas movies do some craft activities and have snacks with the kids and we would probably uh, what restaurant facilities you want West End hallway or here, mm -hmm. but it had to be taped off. You know. Right. Yeah. So we would have adult volunteers plus girls in the Safe Sitters program. We would be charging for this activity ten dollars a child, and we would use that for the snacks, the crafts, and to um, give a donation to the Safe Sitters for their time. Entertain a motion to uh, 
grant request to meet the city of Yellow Jail. The winner's market the second Saturday of each month from about 8 to 1 p.m. and Monday through uh, November through April. And the use of the gym on Friday evening, December 18th, for the holiday walk to uh, babysitters at will. Take care of the children. So, Steve made a motion. Second. Second by Linda. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same side. Passage unanimous. Thank you. Thank you. Next item Chief Shots. All right, recommendation to open position at the fire department. Good evening. Uh, we did have two openings that we would like to fill that we uh, have proceeded through the process, and we do have two candidates we'd like to hire. Just based on our executive session, Ms. Emil said something different. I'll make a motion that we offer a conditional offer of employment pending they pass the birth to candidates three and candidate. Motion made by Jamie, accepted by Steve, to accept candidates three and two. And uh, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Thank you. I appreciate that. Chief Bridges. Yeah, the update on the new hire. Okay, um, out of the last process that we ran, unfortunately we were only, only able to hire one out of the two. Uh, Perf denied uh, one of the applicants. So um, the one that uh, did successfully complete, he should be starting, I'm hoping, in the next two weeks. And he was a lateral transfer from the other department. So. Uh, we should hopefully get him up and going real quick. So, and the purposeful exam been scheduled. Yeah, he's done. He's done. He's done. He's done. I've already got it back, and I started sending it back up to him. This is the one that was had already been through the academy, yes. correct? So yes. So training should be. Mm -hmm. So he's given notice, and yes, he's given you a date to start work. Yep. What date? Well, I mean, it just depends on when we hear something back from Perth, but I'm guessing it'll probably be November 10th, around that area. It usually takes about a week and a half before we get something back from then the final part, so. But he has given his current yes. orders. Yeah, he's using comp time and vacation time to finish out his process there, so. He's officially permission done there, so. Are there any questions on that board? <clears throat> this fills the staffing, right? No, we, uh, we only got one of the two. So we still have two open positions, is that right? Because we had three? Mm -hmm. But I thought we were going to be understaffed for that. Well, we were. <laughs> but we will when we get everybody on board. Okay. So. We'll be under, it, once this one comes, we'll be under two. Yes. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If no one else, fair price. the new contract for the radio maintenance of the place station. Okay, um, in close I put in a contract with Owens Communication. Uh, for several years we actually went through BNL out of Bloomington. Uh, we were having trouble getting a hold of them for radio maintenance. They weren't honoring the contract and I found out that within the last month they had went out of business. So I contacted Owens who is a Motorola dealer and uh, they are the closest uh, maintenance uh, close to us. I've contacted other counties. They use Owens. Uh, it's a good company. So I'm just requesting that uh, the board authorize us to start using Owens Communication as the uh, new maintenance and uh, contract provider for the police department. Um, they'll be doing all of our uh, handheld radios and mobile radios in the cars, so. No base, just no base. Right. The base will be covered by Owens, that will be covered through Central Dispatch, so. What I read through this contract is most of the things I read is what they didn't do, what they're not going to do. Right. But 
What's the problem? Do they just come and check on the radios? Yeah. Or if we have any problems, we call them, they'll come and service the radios. Whatever problem you've got, it says there, it looks like they don't do. But we take responsibility for a while. Well, it just depends on what the, the problem is with the radio, on what they will cover or not. Have you did? It's, it's about the same contract that B&L did for us. I, con I um, compared the two contracts. And you did business with this company before? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Fine. They're cur they are currently doing our car installs also, and they handle all Columbus's stuff. Mm -hmm. So, How is your budget for this year? <coughs> so, I mean, I'm talking about being where you should be on the year end of September, uh, October, and keeping 10% Well, it depends on how we work out the final part of the end of the year with uh, dispatchers and possibly losing three more officers on payouts. I mean, it's if that's the case, then there's no way I'm going to uh, be at 10%. I've been using Fred, Fred's uh, and two other officers' accounts to help pay out overtime. Uh, the one thing, unfortunately, that hit the police department this year was when we got the new Spillman system, Spillman didn't tell us that we were going to have to use over 600 hours of paid overtime for employees. So I had to pay $600 of overtime to cover um, six months of training out of the budget that we weren't used to or we weren't prepared for. Um, I have part-time the problem we ran into and that we were spending sixty to $70,000 on part-time uh, dispatchers through 911. And that was one of the reasons we went to Central Dispatch. Well, when Central Dispatch happened, I'm not getting the part-timers working as much because they also are employed to other agencies during day shift. Well, day shift, I've lost my communication supervisor and I lost one to retirement. So now I'm having to pay all my full-time employees to cover that. It just, I mean, this was not a good year. What was that you said about Spillman, the training there, how much? Was that? It was over 600 hours of paid overtime. I, I broke down the um, figures uh, right after the training. I went back on timesheets and showed them. It was anywhere from 550 to 600 hours. And that's for about 15 officers. And all dispatchers. And we had to pay, we had to pay dispatchers mm -hmm. for Spillman when they're going to be working for the county? Because mm -hmm. they're, they're our employees right now. Yes, they are, but they're. Mm -hmm. They're going to operate their equipment under stuff. I don't know if I totally agree with that. We had to read it through the year. I mean, they're not county employees till January. Yeah. But I didn't expect them to just not do anything until January. Very expensive training for about three or four months. Yep. And uh, yeah, it is. Like I said, and I know I went to. I've talked to Bridget and that, and I asked her if. Uh, past administration had made them aware that there might be that much overtime, and they were not aware of it either. Um, so what I have done, we used to have two 30-hour part-time dispatch spots that we had. Well, we turned one of those into a full-time employee and one left. Um, so we've been using that part-time money to help cover the overtime expenses that's just trying to, try to keep us even. And that I could tell you from everything that I'm looking at, I'm, I'm above where I'm supposed to be in that. Um, all my other... Um, operating procedures and that I'm still in some areas I'm still at 70% because I've had to take on more with the salary so I've had to keep kind of leave the operating procedures alone and a lot of the things that I purchased this year were done through the drug funds and all that which do not come out of our budget so we're still sitting fine it's just going to be depends on where we're going to pay out the dispatchers at the end of the year and then like I said if I do lose two officers to Shelbyville those are going to be payouts also, and it's just, I mean, we're going to get hit hard this year. Is there, is there any way we can go back to the 911 board and ask for maybe some help with the overtime for the training? It's a possibility, I can ask. Because like I said, I mean, it's, because see, they had, a, they had two people, one patrol officer and one dispatcher, that had to be considered as admin assistants. That way, if something goes down, they have to be right there to help solve the problem. Well, they were going through, like I said, they went through like six months of training before everybody else did. And then for like a month period of time, we were running at least six employees a week at 20 hours or more of overtime because they had to attend these classes. For us to be functioning on January or on June 23rd, 
on the new spilling system, we had to send everybody to the train. There wasn't a way that we could get away with it. When did the spilling take effect? Spilling took effect in June, June 23rd. So, six months we're talking about fifteen thousand dollars at the time. And that's why I don't think it's a bad idea to maybe go to the 911 board and ask for some assistance in re recouping some or part of that money for trading. I mean, it's all going to central dispatch. It well, and it could also help maybe offset paying some of these dispatchers out. Like I said, there's a lot of them that are using their time, but there's just, I mean, if you're not going to be able to get them all. I mean, with the time that they have, I mean, there's, there's a good amount that's paid down, but I'm going to have two or three employees that I mean, you're going to look at 100 hour payouts. So, how many policemen do you have that can work dispatch? Zero. It used to be they cross train, but now with all the certifications and that, we can't do it. We'll discuss it over time later, but uh, if that's the case, I would probably want to spend eighty-three to seven thousand to save thirteen hundred twenty-five dollars. What amounts to by a three year contract or coverage? The only problem is if we don't cover that contract and something breaks, then it's going to be travel time out of pocket on us because that is police department equipment. I'm not saying not to contract with them, I'm, I'm just saying look at it annually. Okay, it's for three years, and that money's there. That money has been put aside because normally that covers the through BL, but since BL would not send us any invoices, we haven't had to pay. This year, uh, I tried to, and uh, I had a dispatcher that's called numerous times, and he kept saying, "Well, I sent you guys an invoice." He never sent them, and then we checked all of our emails and everything. He never sent them. He ended up going under. So that's what I'm guessing my part of the problem was. So, but I have been working with Bridget on just making sure the numbers are where they need to be to turn in. So, how much? Do, how much do we owe that company if they send us an invoice? Nothing. In our contract with them, they broke it. Okay. They broke the uh, contract, so. So, what do you think? For three years, the 7000 and say $1,325 over three years, and just get $2,775 anyway. And the radios that they're be covering, all the WT, or the handheld radios, those are brand new. We just received those a couple months ago. So those are here to stay for at least 10 to 15 years. Really? Uh, all sorts of available really yep. is. Yeah, we, you, you ask around and Owens, and Mike can attest to this, Owens covers all of our surrounding areas. Leave it from baseball. The Columbus. Columbus. Columbus, yeah. Well, I'll make a motion that uh, we go three years. It might go up next year if we just go by one year plan. I'll second that. I think everything seems like they increase price yeah. every year. Labor yeah. calls. Like so you are budgeted for this? Yes. But it will affect your percentage at the end of the year. Correct. Well, this might not take effect till January 1. So actually, it will be set in next year's budget, which I did set aside a line item for radio maintenance to the PD. So, so adding to the motion, are you okay with just beginning this after the first of the year? This is the one time. Yeah, and the money's there, and I believe, I believe in the radio maintenance right now. It's around six thousand is what I have set aside. So I mean, it would definitely cover it for the three year. Motion made by Bob, second by Jamie. Is there a discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Same sign if you get. Motion passed unanimous. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else from the board? Just have a great.
Friday and seeing the thing he had a removal pretty well put together. He was just waiting on kind of some leverage with a couple of the companies just to make sure everybody knew that we're still shopping. <laughs> Not just going to take what they give us. So. All those fails I did, other guys speak to him and said he had planned to do out of all this. So we'll do this short. Okay. Anything else, board? Hearing none, I'm going to take a motion to adjourn. Okay. Make a motion. Make a motion.